buying a used car? Be very careful if you decide to cruise for one that's not being sold by a licensed dealer. If you think negotiating with an individual seller will get you a much better deal, know your risk. Just because someone says it's their car doesn't necessarily mean that's the case. In fact, that's how curb stoners operate. These are unlicensed dealers who repeatedly flip cars for profit and sell them curbside to unsuspecting victims. On this particular day, DMV investigator Tom Edwards and his team are tracking them down. Uh, they'll hand you a bill of sale and tell you it's you know, this much money and they'll promise you that it was uh, my father's car for the last 20 years and uh, they'll hand you a car they bought yesterday. Even if you wouldn't consider buying a car this way, you should still be alarmed because many of them are not safe and could be in the lane next to you. It's big business that has moved from the curb to online classified websites. Want to find out if you're dealing with a curb stoner? Find a car you'd like to buy from a private party, say this 2002 Dodge Stratus. Then take the phone number and search that. In this case, two other listings for cars popped up. We just feel violated and taken advantage of. Carolyn Parker believes a curb stoner took her for a ride. She bought this Porsche Cayenne for $23,000. Less than a week after taking it home, it stopped running. To her surprise, she found the car had been cosmetically altered to mask previous damage. It had been in a serious accident. Every corner panel on the car had been replaced. All of the VIN tags have been removed. Basically, every part of the car had been repainted. Um, they'll hide their identities. They'll hide the identity of the vehicles. In some cases, they'll put different plates on a car, uh, stickers that don't belong on a car. They won't even produce titles or uh, any kind of documentation, registration for the car, so you wouldn't know that it doesn't belong to, to an individual. These illegal dealers are sly, but the DMV hopes by arming you with information and tips, you'll be less likely to fall into a curb stoner's trap.